taking it in your mind to learn to play the guitar? I just want to, that's all. <laughs> Boy, child, don't you know what to do with yourself? How long is this before you're going to get tired of this now? Like you got tired of that little play acting group you joined last year. And what was it the year before that? The horseback rider club where she bought that $55 <laughs> riding habit that's been hanging in the closet ever since. Why, why you gotta flip so one thing to another, baby? I just want to learn to play the guitar. Is there anything wrong with that? Ain't nobody trying to stop you. I, I just wonder sometimes why you have to flip so from one thing to another. You ain't never done nothing with that camera equipment you brought home. I don't flip. I... I experiment with different forms of expression. Like riding a horse. People have got to express <laughs> themselves one way or another. And, and, and what is it that you want to express? Me! <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. I don't expect you to understand. Who, um, who are you going out with tomorrow night? George Merchantson again. Ooh, you getting a little sweet on him? <laughs> you ask me, she ain't sweet on nobody but herself. <laughs> oh, Mama, I like George all right. I like him enough to go out with him and stuff, but I... Wait, what does him stuff mean? <laughs> Mind your own business. Stop picking up her now, room. What does it mean? <laughs> it only means that I can never be too serious about George. He's, he's so shallow. Shallow. What do you mean he's shallow? He's rich! I know he's rich. He knows he's rich too. Well, what other qualities has a man got to have to satisfy you? I don't think you would understand. Anybody who married Walter couldn't even begin to understand. What kind of way is that to talk about your brother? Brother is a flip. Let's face it.
work, he carries the groceries, and he makes love like, I know it sounds silly, but like a guy. <laughs> I mean, Brad couldn't do any of these things for you. How do you share the chores? How do you go to the theater? How do you make love? <laughs> well, he can't do chores, it's true, and making love is awkward. <laughs> <laughs>
death's not always. Sometimes their breathing is hoarse. Sometimes it rattles. Sometimes they even cry out to you, don't let me go. Even the old sometimes say, don't let me go as if you were able to stop them. The funerals are pretty, with pretty flowers and oh, what gorgeous boxes they pack them away in. Unless you were there at their bed when they cried out to you, hold me. You never suspect the struggle for breath and bleeding. But you didn't dream. I saw, 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 and now you sit there telling me with your eyes that I let the place go. How did in the hell do you think all those deaths got paid for? Death is expensive, Miss Stella. And old cousin Jesse was right after Margaret's. Hers. Why the Grim Reaper had set up his tent on our doorstep. Stella, Bell Reeve was his headquarters. Honey, that's how it slipped through my fingers. Which of them left us a fortune? Which of them left us a cent of insurance even? Only Jessie to pay for her coffin, 100. And I with my pitiful salary at the school, yet sit there and stare at me and accuse me of letting the place go. I let the place go. Where were you? In bed with your Pollock. 